I'm super hyped that you brought out three heat gloves right here. Let's talk about each one. Well, first one's a gamer. Um, I normally go rich tan, but this year I wanted to switch it up a little bit, so I went with the, you know, two piece black with a little camo. Got gray on the front. Uh, a little bigger, 12 and a quarter. Mm. So this is the gamer. Been using all year. It's been really solid. This is my shag glove. So I got this two years ago. Um, kind of wanted to do something a little different. So went with the you know single post, a little combo mesh with yes, a little sir. leather because I always love that look. Uh, I don't mesh know. Who, yeah, I don't know who I saw it with first years ago, but I was like, you know what? Let me customize one. Use it as my shag glove. It's 12. This is a 12 with the reverse welting as well. Yeah. So I always get the reverse welting on all my gloves. Why is that? I just, so yeah, I think I think it just, you know, it's a good look. That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is the shag glove. Uh-huh. And then lastly, I'm breaking this one in now. So this is my normal, like, rich tan. So yes. my first two years in the show, I use pretty much just a rich tan with a two-piece. But this year, you know, this one I'm breaking in. Rich tan with the dual hinge, yeah. uh, reverse welting, handsome welting, some red, you know, stamping, and kind of the same thing gray. And honestly, that's all I got. I got more back in DC, but I forgot to bring those. So these are what I got with me right now. He's all pro preferred. All pro preferred. Always go pro preferred. Um, I just love the way they feel. Uh, you know. Coming up as a kid, you know, I liked Heart of the High, but then once, you know, I got into Pro Bowl, I was like, you know what, let me go with Pro Preferred, and, you know, it takes some time to break in, but once you get it, you know, it feels solid, and, uh, you know, you feel right at home. That sheepskin's elite. On it's the inside, elite, man. Lavish. <laughs> lavish. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Like, you know, when you get one of these fresh out the box, you know it's quality. You know, Rawlings does a really good job. I mean, I've been with Rawlings since, you know, I signed on him with Pro Bowl, and, um, they always take care of me. You know, I get a few gloves a year, and uh, I wish I brought my other ones. But for now, these are, you know, the three I'm rocking with, and I love them. Of course. Um, on, yeah, so on this one, I mean, how'd you decide with the web and all that? I mean, just open web? Um, yeah, so when I was in college, um, I had a pro preferred, and it was the thinner single post. So I always liked it, but then I was like, you know what, in my shack glove, why not get the bigger one? Yeah. So went with that, and then, you know, the mesh bag, uh, man, growing up, I loved looking at, you know, what pros wear and uh, yes, what people were doing with their gloves. So I wanted that mesh bag, and then kind of just add a little flavor with the camo, and then uh, the hand welting, and, um, and I'll be shagging a little bit today, so this is, you know, my, my weapon of choice. This is a deep cut. I don't know if you're going to catch it, but, like, that's, the, that, that's given the Troy gloss. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, the Pro Troy. Yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah, this is exactly like that. I mean, you know, I think wasn't his like uh, he would go with like rich tan or a mm-hmm. tan kind of web. Yeah. 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 So who knows? Maybe next year, you know, I'll switch it up, get maybe you know this this color, you know, but this model and, and make that my new shag glove. We'll see. And then the fur. I mean, a lot of infielders and outfielders, like on the inside of the wrist, they be going with like that dry fit material or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, the fur. Come on. <laughs> you can't beat it. You can't beat that. Like, on well, my gamer, it's a little worn down. Of course. But, you know, that's expected. And then this yeah. one, you know, is brand brand new, ready to get used. But you know, when, I, when you were growing up in the New York area, where were you shopping for your gear? Man, I would I would honestly get a lot of stuff off eBay. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> there were there was always good deals on eBay. Um, and then... Yeah. Uh, MLB Pro Issue. In yeah, the yeah. I would, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would try and get the most elite stuff off there, and then like baseball pants, you know, wherever I could find a cheap pair of pants. Um, cleats would rock New Balances or Nikes or whatever. Um, now I'm rocking Adidas, but yeah, honestly, um, would just kind of scavenge the web and, and see what I could find. On that same note, do you remember your first real glove growing up? First real glove. Um, yeah, of course. So it was a modified trapeze. Mm-hmm. Uh, part of the hide. I don't remember the model, but it was like a. It was a black with a maybe a brown lacing. Uh, Eleven and a half. Yeah. And it was uh, it was passed down from a family friend, and it was the first real glove I had, and I used it for so many years, and you know, I took care of that thing. 
Anytime I see a modified trap, I for real always think of Pedro Martinez. Because bro, like, had a, had a chokehold on that. Oh, yeah, man. so I, I grew up, modified trapeze was what I loved. And um, once I went to college, you know, I bought that glove with the single post and transitioned to that. And then once I got into pro ball, I knew I needed a real pitcher's glove. Yeah. So I actually used, um, had an Easton glove for a while. Uh, one of their like limited edition joints that they released and then signed on with Rawlings and then that's when I started you know the whole rich tan two-piece um, and then rock with that for a while and then now rocking with this one um, you know for the time being so when I was growing up also like following what pros were everything and it was crazy when he hit me up to do some work I was like yo this is this is wild <laughs> yeah. um, like my grail glove was like the Tulo like the yeah, pro T yeah. and, and before that it was the Adam Kennedy joint yes. AK2 yeah, so that was yeah. my grail glove Do you did you have a grail glove when you was growing up? yeah so for me it was probably the TT2 yeah and then if it wasn't the TT2 it'd probably be I, lo- I really enjoyed like the iWebs that they came out with um I don't know the models off the top of my head. I think it was like the NP5 or the, yeah. the Belche model because uh-huh. it was like wide. Yes. You know, the TT2 was good. Flat. But it was flat. It was narrow. Sure was. So it was like you weren't like you had to really, really break it in to get that wide pocket that you want because I played, you know, shortstop for, you know, majority of my life until I became a pitcher. Yeah. So I really liked that flat web. And then, you know, once I got drafted and started pitching, um, pretty much just always go with the stock 200 model because mm-hmm. you could break it in however you like, and uh, they've always been solid. Yeah, with the Tulo, you have to be perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah, because it, it can get it can get really narrow. Like yeah. you know, this one I would say is it's pretty narrow, but also like you know I've stretched it out to where you know the laces. You got are, a Tulo breaking. Yeah, it's spread fingers. It's like it yeah. can spread it out, and I feel like confident with it, and you know I'm not stressing to try and you know break it in all the time. Yep. I, mean, I think that's all I got for you, man. All right. Thank you for your time, bro. Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure.